Hey people, um, today guys I'm going to be trying a little bit of a different video. Um, with this video I'm going to be talking about legal stages in Smash Ultimate. Before I start, I want to say that I'm not a professional player whatsoever, and that I'm just making this video to help get some ideas going within the community. So from what we've seen so far, the stage toggle can do some pretty amazing things. With the stage toggle, there's a bunch of potential legal stages, and that makes me like really excited to play this game. But it sucks, because it seems like the community is so set on having a small stage list. Like, if you if you go on Twitter, you see people making stage lists of like 10 stages or so, when in reality there's like, there's about 20 we can use. But it would suck so much to see so many stages never getting used. The biggest reason why people don't want to do this is because the process of banning and eventually picking a stage would take way too long, right? Well, there might be a solution to that with the idea of stage pools. So essentially what stage pools are is where you group a bunch of similar stages together and you ban pools instead of banning each individual stage. So for my example, I have four stage pools. I've got standard slash simples, dual plats, tri plats, and counter picks. And of course, the counter picks tab is not available until after the first game. Here are some examples of stages that fit under these categories pretty well. So uh, real quick, I'm going to walk you through what a set could look like with stage pools on. So let's pretend like we have a Mario player and we have an Inkling player. They're going to play rock, paper, scissors to decide who bans a pool first. In this case, Mario wins, so he gets the pool ban. The counter pick pool is turned off and Mario gets the first ban. He doesn't want to go to standards or simples because he doesn't want flat stages versus Inkling, and he's trying to get tri-flats. Inkling doesn't want tri-flats, so she bans tri-flats. So the compromise is made at the dual flats pool, and now they attempt to compromise on a stage within dual flats. So Mario bans first because he won RPS, so he doesn't want to go to Pokemon Stadium 1 versus Inkling. Inkling's not going to want to go to Unova versus Mario. Mario's not going to want to go to Pokemon Stadium 2 versus Inkling, and they end up compromising on Kalos League. So now they're going to fight it out on Kalos. And let's just act like Mario wins here. Okay, and then since Mario won, he can decide any pool he doesn't want the other person to pick from. So Mario doesn't want to go to FD, Yoshi's, or any of either of the Animal Crossing stages, so he bans standards or simples. But now Inkling, since she lost, she gets the benefit of picking any stage from the three other pools. As in, Inkling can go to any of the dual flats, any of the tri flats, or any of the counter picks. And that's essentially how it would work. I would think it's 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 definitely not foolproof and it's definitely open to change. Uh, I'd love to hear people's opinions on how this system could work, uh, if there are ways to improve it. If it's not a good system in general, I, just let me know. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, you know. Um, I 100% hope to do more Ultimate content in the coming weeks. Like, I've got a ton of ideas, so... Subscribe, man. Alright, see you guys.